Okay. So now we're going to talk about reflecting over a line that is not vertical or horizontal. That means that it's not like straight, flat, or straight this way, where you don't just count. For this kind of lines, it has a slope. So what you would want to do is find your perpendicular. Our steps will be to find the perpendicular slope to our line of reflection. Perpendicular line is just a line that intersects another line and creates 90 degree angle to create a 90 degree angle. So the perpendicular slope is always the opposite of the reciprocal, the opposite reciprocal. And when I do it, you, it'll make more sense. Then you're going to count how much your you did your rise or fall over your run till you get to your reflection, like your line of reflection on your blue line. Then you're going to do it. You're going to count that much the other way from your line of reflection. If it already took you over your line of reflection when you did it like one time, then you've already reflected your points. So this is not going to make much sense till I show you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So yeah, I have my formula with my y isolated. So this is called slope intercept one. The number in front, negative two, is my slope of my line of reflection. To find my perpendicular line, I would just go ahead and do the reciprocal, the opposite reciprocal. So this is a negative sign, so my slope of my perpendicular line will be positive. Opposite of negative is positive. And two is the same thing as two over one. So just flipping that would give me one over two. So now I have done my step one. I have my slope of my line, perpendicular line to the line of reflection, which is positive one over two. What this means is that we go up if it's positive. It means that we're going to go up one as we go to the right two. Well, as you can see, if I go up one and to the right, it's not going to take me over my line of reflection, but I got to go the other direction. Well, going up into the right to the to go is the same thing as if I went down one and to the left two. Okay, so what I mean is like one over two is the same is the same thing as a negative one over two over a negative two. A negative or negative is positive. So let me just erase it and make it where you can see it. So I'm going down one and to the left two. It's the same thing as going up one to the right two, okay? So I'm going to choose this option because this option right here gets me, gets me over my line of reflection. Now I'm just going to count how many times I have to do that till I get to my line. So I'm going to down one over two, one, two, one time, down one over two, one, two, two times. It took me two times, so I have to go go down one and over two the other way from my line of reflection two times. So now from this point, I'm going to go down one over two, one time, down one over two, two times. And that's going to get me to where I want to put this dot. From this point, I'm going to go down one over two. One, two, one time, down one, over two, two times, down one, over two, three times. So it took me three times to get to my line of reflection. So I'm going to go three times, down one, over two, the other way. Down one, over two, one, two, one time, down one, over two, one, two, two times, down one to the left two, one, two, three times. Then I'll go ahead and take this line and go down one into the left two. 
however many times I need to. So I'm going to go down one, to the left two, one, two, one time. Down one, to the left two, one, two, two times. Down one, to the left two, three times. Down one, to the left two, four times. It took four times to get to my line of reflection, so I have to go four times the other way. So down one, to the left two, one time. Down one, to the left two, two times. Down one, to the left two, three times. Down one. To the left two, one, two, four times. Then I would just go ahead. Now I've done that for my line. I'll just go ahead and connect it to reflect. But in Delta Mat, it should already reflect it for you, so you should be fine. I mean, it should already connect it for you. Sorry. So that's my figure reflect it and it should look like a mirror image over that line let's go to two more examples so that you get a hang of this so i look at the number in front of my x for my line of reflection well this line is a negative one x is a you remember if you don't see the number there's an invisible one there so this will be a negative one x so B. So now I just have to do the opposite and flip it. The opposite of reciprocal. So opposite of negative is positive. And flip it, one is the same thing as one over one. So flipping it will still give me one over one. So I have that the slope of my line of reflection is a positive one over one. If it's positive, that means I'm going up as I go to the right. Is negative I'm going down as I go to the right. So here I'm just going to go up one as I go to the right one. And that will get me over my line. So that this is the choice I want to go to. Remember you have two choices. This is telling you you can either go up one and, and as you go to the right one or down one as you go to the left one. So I'm going to choose this option right here. Up one to the right one. So from this line, I go up one to the right one, but it's already taking me over my reflection line. If it's already taking you on the first time, then you've already reflected your points. So my point reflect is right here. And this one, I'm going to count how many times. So I go up one to the right one, one, up one to the right one, two, up one to the right one, three, up one to the right one, four, up one to the right one, five. Up one to the right one. So it took me about five times and five and a half. So I'm going to go five times from this point, okay, where I stopped at. So I'm going to go up one to the right one, one, up one to the right one, two, up one to the right one, four, up one to the right one, I mean, three, up one to the right one, four, up one to the right one, five. I'm going to do the same thing from this point. Up one to the right one one, up one to the right one two, up one to the right one three, up one. So it took about three times before I went over. So from where I stopped at going up one to the right, I'm gonna go three times. So I'm going up one to the right one one, up one to the right one two, up one to the right one three. And now I just have to connect it. Again, that's when I should connect it. And that would be my line reflected. I mean, that would be my figure, not line. That would be my figure reflected. Should give it my figure reflected over that line. <laughs> Let's do a third example. And if we have time, maybe two more. So just look at the number in front of your X. My slope for my line of reflection is negative 3. So the slope of the perpendicular would be the opposite. Positive. And 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. Opposite reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 over 1 will be 1 over 3. So my step 1 is done. I found the slope of my perpendicular line, 1 over 3. This means I'm going up 
one and over to the right three because it's up because it's positive. Now remember, if going up one to the right does not take me over my reflection line, I can just rewrite one over three as negative one over three. So I can just do the opposite. So going up and to the right, the opposite will be going down as you go to the left. You can write as negative one over three, which is going down to the left as you go to the left. So I'm just going to choose this option. So I'm going to now count how many times it takes me to go down and over three to get to my blue line. And remember, if it takes you over on your first try, then your point is already reflected and you just put a dot there. So from this one, I'm go down one, over three, one, two, three. And it already took me over my line, so I'm already reflected. At this point, I can go down one to the left three, one, two, three, one time, down one to the left three, one, two, three. Okay, so it was only one time before I got to the blue line, so from this point, I'm just gonna go one time, okay? Down one to the left three, one, two, three. Then, to the next point, go down one to the left three, one, two, three, one time, down one to the left three, one, two, three. So it only took me one time before I got to the blue line. So I'm just, from this point, I'm just going to go one time again. So down one to the left three, one, two, three. Okay, so this, I didn't do that, right? Let me fix that so that makes sense. So from this point, I went, let me quickly fix that. I went down one to the left three, one, two, three, one time, down one to the left three, one. So that was one time. Down one, two, left three, one, two, three. Just one time from that point. Okay. Then I'm going to just connect it with a line. I hope this helps. I know it's kind of hard to like visualize. That's why I always like to check it with connecting and see if it looks like a mirror image of itself. After being reflected or 